April of 1972. Mm -hmm. Curseo number two at St. Mary's Church in Oakland, the Curia of St. Catherine of Siena. Your church, yeah. Martinez. So Sister Norma and uh, Sister Sheila have talked about Pre Curseo, its functions, its goals, its importance, and a lot about sponsorship. So tonight, let me just add a little bit of insight into the talk that Sister Penny had requested me, and that is the invitation to leave the three-day Curseo weekend. By the way, how many of you have invited family members or friends to attend a Curseo weekend? Will you please? Wow, then you don't really need me here. <laughs> okay, thank you. Lots of you are all, at least almost of you. So, second question is, why did you invite them? Sister Cora, you raise your hand. Yes, yes. I invited my husband. <laughs> <laughs> because I wanted him to, um, to feel the friendship and love of my uh, brothers and sisters of Christ. Because every time I come home, it's just like, how come you look so happy? So finally, uh, after three years, he decided to so you wanted him to experience what you have experienced before. Anybody else, Brother Mario? Let me call the lay directors. Yeah. <laughs> I experienced the goodness of the Lord during the weekend, and I look at it as a, it's like a, a sin not to, not to share what you have experienced, because I know that it, will, it, it has done me good, I'm pretty sure it will do me good as well. Absolutely. Next lay director, Sister Mirla. <laughs> no, I said I will be calling the lay directors, and you were a lay director. Two times, actually. The reason is that we invite the family because they will be left for three days. And so we wanted to be together. <laughs> <laughs> She's very honest. And, uh, I want them to see the faces of the brothers and sisters who are attending. And, you know, they, they'll say, oh, you know, I want to be there too next time. <laughs> Anybody else? Even though you have not been a lay director someday in God's time, in his time, you will be all. So anybody else who would like? I'll call one more. Sister Clarita. I invited them because I experienced the love in the Corsilio. And, and I can like, explain it. So when they ask me uh, what is the and I said, I don't understand. So you just let it go. And... Absolutely. <laughs> Great. Those are all beautiful responses. And I thank you so much. Before Jesus left his disciples, he gave them this command. Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. From Matthew chapter 28, verse 19, one of my very best um, chapters of the Bible. The Acts of the Apostles quoted Paul and Barnabas, repeating the Lord's command to them, then... And to us now, I have made you a light to the Gentiles, that you may be an instrument of salvation to the ends of the earth. That's from Acts chapter 13, verse 47. The book titled, Whom Shall I Send? by Father Frank Salmani reminds us that Jesus commands his disciples to go out and not only to spread the good news, to find other disciples, some students of the gospel, who would continue the work of the first apostles. At the same time, Jesus does not ask everyone to embrace the same call. He calls all to accept the gospel but he calls certain people to be leaders, 
to help others accept the call. And let me repeat that. It's so beautiful. He calls all to accept the gospel, but he calls certain people to be leaders to help others accept the call. It is not enough to be just followers. Some are called to lead others. This is an idea that developed very soon in the early church, as evident in St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians. While all are called to accept the gospel in their lives and be baptized, others are set apart to be teachers and leaders to set the tone for others and help lead the way by means of witness of life and a dedication to doing the Lord's work. Prayer is a very important, if not the most important part of sponsorship. Pray and then pray some more. Talk to God about the person you would like to invite. Is this the right person to attend? Ask the Holy Spirit for guidance. Approach the person in a loving way. There is a great need of personal influence and contact which you as Corsalistas have with those whom you wish to invite to make a Corsio. Such an invitation should be personal through a true friendship so that the relationship may last long in the interest of our evangelizing endeavors as we are all advised, and this is not new to us, to make a friend, to be a friend, and to bring that friend to Christ, not to the Corsillo. The Corsillo will come later after the friendship. Explain the reason for the Corsillo weekend to your friend in such a way that he or she will become enthusiastic about it. Since, th since those who are interested in becoming more as a better person should attend the Corsillo, it is necessary that they see the Corsillo movement as a means of attaining their desires. In this way, they will be Corsillistas by desire before attending. Answer honestly questions that the person might have. A plus is to give them additional informational handouts, or we have that little pamphlet, the Regis Purpose book, the Corsillo Movement, what is it? And that is already being done by Sister Norma and the pre Corsillo Committee. So that the person can read and review them, pray upon them, and make a good decision. The answer you might get is a yes. And that is beautiful. Or a no or a maybe. And for us that have sponsored and have invited family members and friends, had experienced all those answers. So whatever it might be, let us give thanks to God and then continue to pray. Like Father Leo just talked to us, that we need to persevere. We should not be stop inviting them, even if they go to Reno or to Kachi Creek. <laughs> Time will come. So that prayer is a big part of the equation. And then let our Lord Jesus do his part. And he will do it in his own time. Okay? So I said that God is good and your response is all, all the time. time. All the time. So let's do it one more time with enthusiasm <coughs> as we invite others 
to our Christian weekend. God is good all the time. All the time. God God is good. Good. I say amen. amen. And you say amen. amen. Thank you for your participation and your listening. Thank you, Lord.